Hi everyone, my name is Lauren. I am a nurse in the ICU and I love explaining pharmacology and giving people memory tricks to help remember pharmacology so that they can use it when they need it. Um, so this video is going to be about vasoactive drugs and I'll give you a little outline of what this series uh, will contain. So we're going to talk about the A, B, and C's of vasoactive drugs, that's alpha receptors, beta receptors, and calcium channel receptors. So we're going to talk about where these receptors are located and that at each of these receptors you can either bind to or agonize these receptors, which is going to increase your sympathetic nervous system response, your fight or flight response at these locations, or we can block or antagonize these receptors, which is going to decrease our sympathetic nervous system response of these receptors. So we'll talk a little bit about signs, uh, sympathetic nervous system responses, fight or flight responses. So you're going to have pupil dilation, you're going to have diaphoresis, increased respiratory rate, bronchodilation, increased heart rate, increased contractility, vasoconstriction, shunt, blood to vital organs. Um, you're going to have increased bladder tone, increased, increased sphincter tone. So all of those are examples of fight or flight responses. Um, and then depending on which receptors are involved, with these drugs is which sympathetic nervous system responses we will be expecting as uh, intended effects of these drugs. So we're going to make a little table here um, and by the end of the series you'll be able to fill out this table uh, with different um, drugs and effects that you should see in all of these categories. So this video is going to focus on alpha, so this part of the chart right here. So alpha drugs, up here in the top column we're going to have bind to or agonize and then down below we will block or antagonize. So remember for binding to these receptors we're going to increase our sympathetic nervous system response because these are adrenergic receptors, alpha adrenergic receptors. So when people talk about alpha, they pretty much mean alpha-1. And they say this is an alpha drug. It's an alpha-1 drug. Um, so alpha drugs are located um, on your vessels, peripheral vessels. So what is our sympathetic nervous system response going to be at our vessels? Fight or flight response is going to be vasoconstriction. If you're looking for a mnemonic or a memory trick to remember that alpha-1 agonists cause vasoconstriction, I like to think that type A people have a tight squeeze or tight grip on what's going on. They like to be in control. So type A people. Um, I also think of A for afterload. So the A in alpha stands for afterload. And you're going to have increased afterload with alpha drugs because they're going to vasoconstrict, which is going to increase the pressure that your heart is working to overcome when it contracts. So some examples of these drugs are epinephrine, norepinephrine, neosinephrine, Uh, Midadrine is one of these drugs that comes in oral form, in a pill form, uh, whereas epinephrine, norepinephrine, neosinephrine all are IV drugs. And I'm going to put dopamine here in parentheses because dopamine is a catecholamine. It ends up working as a presser because it is a precursor to epinephrine and norepinephrine. So it's going to lead to epinephrine, norepinephrine. So you might notice uh, that a lot of these alpha agonist drugs end in ephrine, epinephrine, epinephrine, norepinephrine. Um, so you may just remember that, but if not, one trick is that these type A people, um, type A people want to get straight A's. They say, I'm ephrine going to get an A on every test. I'm ephrine going to get an A. Um, 
Um, so that's one trick for remembering that alpha drugs end in ephrine a lot of the time. So that is our top column there. Our bottom column here is going to be alpha blockers. Um, they're going to decrease our sympathetic nervous system response at our alpha receptors. And we already talked about our alpha receptors are located on our vessels. So for decreasing sympathetic nervous system response at our vessels, we are going to vasodilate. So there's two uh, types of drugs that work in this way. One is an alpha-1 blocker, um, which makes sense. And examples of those are carvedilol and labetalol. And the next video in this series is going to be talking about beta blockers. You might recognize that the lols are beta blockers. And that's true. Those uh, drugs are primarily beta blockers. They're actually alpha-1, beta-1, and beta-2 blockers. So being an alpha-1 blocker, they're going to cause vasodilation. Alpha-2 agonists are also in this category. So you might say, well, it's an agonist. How can it be blocking the alpha category? So I'll draw you a little picture here. We've got our sympathetic nervous system here and our peripheral nervous system here. So our alpha-1 drugs that we talked about up top are located in, per in our peripheral nervous system. So drugs like norepi bind to our alpha-1 receptors and that leads to vasoconstriction. Alpha-2 receptors are located centrally and when you bind to alpha-2 receptors, they actually go and block alpha-1 receptors. So where norepi would normally bind to alpha-1 receptors, norepi is blocked, and therefore instead of leading to vasoconstriction, we actually lead to vasodilation. So the end result of alpha-2 agonists and alpha-1 antagonists or blockers is the same result, vasodilation. And some examples of alpha-2 agonists are clonidine and Presidex. Now it's important to note that since alpha-2 agonists work centrally in the central nervous system, you're going to have CNS effects. You're going to have CNS depression like sedation. So clonidine and Presidex can have some sedation, and that's one really nice quality about Presidex. One reason that we do use Presidex is because it has sedation um, as one of the effects. I've seen it used most in the ICU for alcohol withdrawal. So we have someone who's normally used to having their sympathetic nervous system depressed all the time, and now they're withdrawing from alcohol. Their sympathetic nervous system is in overdrive. We want to give them a drug that's going to kind of chill it out a little bit. It's going to decrease your sympathetic nervous system response and also sedate you a little bit. Um, you're not having seizures and jumping out of bed and pulling out all your IVs and all of that. Um, so Presidex is a really nice drug because it's in the alpha category. It's blocking your alpha-1 receptors, and so it um, ends up leading to sedation and decreased blood pressure a little bit without decreasing respiratory drive. Um, so we don't need to intubate these people and put them on ventilators. We just need a drug to kind of sedate them but let them breathe on their own. So Presidex is a really nice drug for that because it works centrally in the central nervous system here. So that's our alpha drugs, alpha agonists um, and alpha blockers. So comment below. Let me know what you thought of this video. This is the first one I've made. Um, tell me if you liked it, um, if you have any questions, any thoughts for future videos or other topics that you want me to cover and look out for the next video, which is on beta agonists and beta blockers.